dear students welcome to the session on initial value theorem and final value theorem first let us write the definition of initial value theorem for a given function f of t we know that laplace transform of f of t is capital f of s if l of f of t is capital f of s then limit t tends to 0 f of t is equal to limit s tends to infinity s into capital f of s or we can say this as limit s tends to infinity s into l of f of t so you can easily remember initial value theorem left hand side limit is 0 right hand side limit is infinity now you would have guessed what is final value theorem if laplace transform of f of t is equal to capital f of s then limit t tends to infinity f of t is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into capital f of s so ivt that is initial value theorem means left hand side limit 0 right hand side limit infinity for final value theorem left hand side limit is infinity right hand side limit is 0 for left hand side we have f of t right hand side we have s into capital f of s for both now let us go into a problem verify initial value theorem for a given function f of t is equal to a into e power minus b t so they can ask a problem like this like any number e power minus 3 t or e power 2 t etc etc first write the initial value theorem then we can get the idea i want to find limit t tends to 0 f of t limit s tends to infinity s into capital f of s before verification I need capital F of S. So we know that L of F of T is capital F of S. So capital F of S is equal to Laplace transform of A into E power minus B T because F of T is A into E power minus B T. And we know the formula L of E power minus B T is 1 by S plus B. Therefore, my capital F of S is ready. Now, let us verify initial value theorem from LHS and RHS. Limit t tends to 0 f of t. Limit t tends to 0 a into e power minus b t and we know that e power 0 is 1. So, when you apply the limit a into e power 0 that is my a. Next, we have to check RHS. When you go for RHS, it is limit s tends to infinity s into capital f of s so limit s tends to infinity s into a divided by s plus b since my limit is infinity we should be little cautious try to take s and try to cancel it because if i bring 1 by s when i apply infinity 1 by infinity is going to be 0 that is the trick here limit s tends to infinity a i can take the s common from the denominator we get 1 plus b by s now i can cancel this s and applying the limit a into 1 by 1 plus 0 because we get b by infinity b by infinity is 0 therefore my rhs is a and already we proved lhs is a hence initial value theorem is verified next problem verify final value theorem for the same question so we write the final value theorem t tends to infinity f of t is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into capital f of s just now we found this so i am showing it again now lhs limit t tends to infinity f of t that is limit t tends to infinity a into e power minus b t we know that e power minus infinity is zero because e power infinity is infinity so e power minus infinity is 1 by e power infinity and we get the zero therefore substituting infinity we get e power minus infinity is zero a into zero is zero so my lhs is zero next in the case of rhs we have limit s tends to zero s into capital f of s limit s tends to zero s into a divided by s plus b now when you apply the limit zero into a divided by zero plus b obviously it is going to be zero therefore we have verified the final value theorem for a given function f of t is equal to a in a into e power 
minus b t. Let us do one more problem. Here f of t is 1 plus e power minus t sin t plus cos t. We have to verify both initial value theorem and final value theorem. For this, first let us find capital F of s, which is nothing but L of f of t. Therefore, capital F of s is nothing but L of 1 plus L of e power minus t sin t plus cos t because of the linear property. Now, Laplace of 1 is 1 by s. For the second part, I have to apply first shifting theorem. Do you remember guys, in the basic videos, we learn how to apply first shifting theorem. It is going to be L of sin t plus cos t. For instant, I will write the first shifting theorem formula. L of e power minus a t into f of t is equal to L of f of t, s is replaced by s plus a. Here, s is replaced by s plus 1 because we have e power minus t. Now, we know that Laplace of sin t is 1 by s square plus 1 plus Laplace of cos t is s by s square plus 1. And we have to replace finally s by s plus 1. Therefore, my capital F of s is 1 by s plus 1 by s plus 1 whole square plus 1 plus s plus 1 divided by s plus 1 whole square plus 1. Now we can proceed with the formula of IVT and FVT. Since the denominator is common, even I can simplify this as 1 by s plus s plus 2 divided by s plus 1 whole square plus 1. Let us go into the verification. First write the initial value theorem. Now limit t tends to 0 f of t we have to find that is limit t tends to 0 1 plus e power minus t cos t plus sin t. Now applying the limit we know that e power 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1. 1 plus e power 0 is 1 sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1. So 1 plus 1 2. Next, RHS. RHS we have a limit S tends to infinity S into capital F of S. We should tackle this in a proper way. Limit S tends to infinity S into 1 by S plus S plus 2 divided by S plus 1 whole square plus 1. Now multiply S inside then this S and S will get cancelled. We have 1 plus S into S plus 2. In the denominator, we have s plus 1 whole square plus 1. Now, I am going to apply infinity for s. Next, we have to simplify this term by cancelling some s in the numerator and denominator in common. Limit s tends to infinity 1 plus s. Let us take this s in common. s into 1 plus 2 by s. In the denominator, I will try to take the s common s into 1 plus 1 by s whole square plus 1. Limit s tends to infinity 1 plus s square 1 plus 2 by s. In the denominator, we have s square plus 1 plus 1 by s whole square plus 1. Now, we will try to take s square in common from the denominator. Limit s tends to infinity 1 plus s square 1 plus 2 by s. If I take s square in common, we have 1 plus 2 by s whole square plus 1 by s square. Now I can cancel this 2s square. When I apply infinity to s, we have 1 by s is 0. Therefore, 1 plus numerator we will get 1 plus 0. Denominator we get 1 plus 0 plus 0. Therefore, 1 plus 1, 2 is my right hand side. Hope you understand students. Next, we have to verify final value theorem. Let us take the LHS. Limit t tends to infinity 1 plus e power minus t sin t cos t. When you apply infinity, we know that e power minus infinity is 0. So, 1 plus 0 into anything is going to be 0. My LHS is 1. Now, we have to go for RHS. Limit s tends to 0. S into capital F of S. Now, multiply the S inside. We have limit S tends to 0. S into 1 by S is 1 plus S into S plus 2 divided by S plus 1 whole square plus 1. If you apply S tends to 0, then we get 1 plus 0 divided by 1. That is simply 1. Therefore, my LHS is 1 as well as RHS is 1. 
Hence, final value theorem is verified. So, we verified both initial value theorem and final value theorem for the given function f of t is equal to 1 plus e power minus t sin t plus cos t. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.